We've got some earnings out from AT&T. Just want to run through the numbers with you. 89 cents on an adjusted basis for the earnings per share for the fourth quarter. That's better than the 87 cents that the street was expecting. Looks like revenue came in at $46.8 billion. The street estimate was for $46.9 billion, but they do have a number that says the revenue would have been $48 billion, excluding the HBO Max investment. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, I guess analysts knew about it, but it means they spent a billion dollars launching HBO right. Max, I guess. Right. Uh, they do run through their goals for 2019 and say they either achieved or overachieved all those goals, including things like reducing net debt by $20.3 billion and looking uh, at a 2.5 <coughs> times net debt to adjusted EBITDA range. Uh, the portfolio review, they point out $18 billion of net asset monetization versus the goal of 6 to $8 billion. And they say that their adjusted earnings per share growth was up by 1.4%. Record-free cash flow, $29 billion versus the original goal of $26 billion. Yeah, they, they did a lot of, uh, they talked about the, the dividend covered, that's 48%, and it's a big yielder. It's, um, you know, 5.4% or something. And, and as you said, in this quarter, they, they reduced debt by over $7 billion. And then they're comfortable with 2020 views, but uh, revenue growth next year is just 1, 1 to 2%.